everybody and welcome back to Carbos Family Home Worthy. We are heading up and right back down to Fury with a plane. You don't see a plane here, do you? You do. It's pretty fucking obvious that it's the end. There's also some giant wings. But also there's a rocket. So that plane kind of a glider to be honest. Because it's so light and it has a lot of wing area. That it controls. Like an absolute fucking beauty. Now, but while we're launching, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so don't miss any new video launch, which is happening every single Tuesday. Now, the launching was kind of difficult because of those wings that wanted to f just flip the rocket, but those engines were like, nah, bitch, I got this shit up on my arms and I am flying. After we got out of the atmosphere, our wings didn't have a choice but just stay there because they didn't work anymore and then just like I'ma work my shit up so yeah I saw a video of some somebody landing a not landing but flying a glider on Mars in real solar system mode and I was like hmm interesting I've never thought about that by the way I've never I mean now that I think about it how the fuck haven't I thought about a fucking plane with propellers on a different planet? Ugh, fuck. I mean, I kinda done it, I guess. But not like a glider, because this thing is fucking beautiful. I, lo I actually love it. It controls so well, it is light and beautiful, it's just so good. Yeah, we circle our own roads, it lasts a lot of time. Also, we done our maneuver not as always I cut it because it is an absolute fucking boring thing also this in this occasion it was extra boring because my transfer window was a mess I don't know why because autoplug has never failed me well until now I guess it was always like spot on pretty much but today is like, mm, yeah, I'm not working for you today, my man. You gotta figure out shit for yourself. I was like, fuck you. So, I listened to it anyway. I was like, yo, that's not optimal. But I'm going for it because if I don't want to do that entire fucking mission again, bro. Even though I just launched. Nah, not happening. We say goodbye to road and we're sad to see it. I mean road is sad to see us leave every every single time. Also look at this. I'm so fucking close to those suns, those stars, I was like Bitch, am I gonna fucking burn and die? I didn't burn and die. Even I don't know how, but yeah. And we're saying hello to Fury. Look at this, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful rings and this red, rusty looking like planet that screams anger, fury, and also fucking murder. Mother, I crave violence. So, yeah. Now that I realize something, I don't have enough fuel for shit. Since I'm going like over 10,000 meters per second, I need to burn so fucking much fuel to have to slow down and orbit around it. Now that was... I, I'm blaming on... I'm blaming that thing, the cheating on the... not on the rocket and on my engineering, but on the transfer window. Because it would, if it was somewhat decent and good, I'm pretty sure that this rocket would have got me to fury easily and I didn't, I wouldn't have to cheat, I guess, but, mm, fast for window, I guess. I cut out communication, I had like barely enough, so I extended that antenna which is inside a nose, which opens like a mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, mm, we have way more than enough, way more of way, way more fuel than we need, so I was like, okay, let's go to the polar pole, polar places because 
first of all, I, I actually planned to go there because the poles look good and I've been towards the equator and there's not much to see except some lava and ground. So I was like, let's go to the poles. Let's 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 go to the poles and see the beautiful auroras that the game is the mod actually provides us because the game doesn't shape. So yeah, close this nose because I don't want anything everything to overheat that's inside it. And now everything is closed. But that wasn't a big big uh, problem because since the tip of the fuel tank on the bottom explodes, I have that single fuel tank which is perfectly on the center of mass. And it's just basically pointing me downwards. That was good. I wasn't planning that, but I'm glad it worked out. So, but at the end I crashed. It didn't really work that well. And second time's the charm. Second time re-entering. Pretty easy to slow down, because I'm pulling over like 5 G's of deceleration. And yeah. So now I deploy those blades and start going downwards. So for now I'm not putting any kind of power to it. And it's controlling fucking amazingly. I look if everything is working fine, and gears and controls work really, really fine. I don't want to go through the Aurora. That's just... I'm a sucker for Aurora. I don't know why. I just love them. They look so good. Now we have some power. And right now I quickly realize that wherever I want to go will take ages. Even though I'm moving at 100 and 29 meters per second, which is almost the speed of sound, which is 130 or something. I was just way too slow and too impatient. The landing the landings were a complete disaster because communication was a big problem here. And I just basically blew up every time I landed. So this was one time where the communication was like it was did it cut? And I was like Holy fuck! Hell yeah! I, I did some loops around this thing. It was so fucking... It was controlled so well. I was like... Do loops, baby! I mean, it was... Pleasure. Basically, it was just pure fucking pleasure. And I was like... Nah, bitch, I ain't landing on the fucking ground. I'm, I'm landing on this... Arch, basically. And that was a... Smooth... Fucking landing. And get out those powers and enjoy the sunset on Fury. Beautiful, beautiful blue sunsets and good looking auroras. And yeah. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like that. Please subscribe if you're new. And as always, I hope to see you next week. Until then, have an awesome week.